Greetings, my name is Dave Weinschaub. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to use the compare feature of Microsoft Word. The uh, screenshots you're going to see in this video are from Word 2007. If you're using Word 2003, you'll be using pull down menus, not the ribbon. The goal of the video is to show you how you can save time by using this particular feature when you're reviewing a second or third or fourth submission. Let's start by looking at a submission of a student. We're going to call it John Jones' first submission. Now, what you're looking at is only two paragraphs of the submission. Uh, what you could be reviewing might be two paragraphs, two pages, or 20 pages. But in the course of this submission, I did find a number of things wrong. I found an APA uh, error here. I found some statements that were not substantiated by the literature. I found the name of a school where you should not have identified it, and a bunch of other things. And using the reviewing feature, I did make corrections onto the document. Let's take a look at that document and see what it looks like when it has been reviewed. And you can see I pointed out the uh, incorrect APA 6 here just by saying APA in a balloon comment. He made a blanket, he or she made a blanket statement here without a citation. I noted neither cit citation. Uh, name the school here. I made a note about that. Used old data. I made a note about that and then ended with a conversational kind of uh, hypothetical statement. So what can we do about the problem? And I made a note about that. In addition, of course, I just made some changes myself in the document uh, to move the student along a little faster and model some, some things. So of course, I send this back to the student and uh, hopefully within a short amount of time, it's only two paragraphs, they send me a corrected copy. Let's take a look at that now. Okay, I'm now looking at the corrected copy of uh, John Jones' paper, calling it John Jones' second submission. Of course, I wouldn't need to uh, compare the two for just two paragraphs, but if I was getting a paper that was 20 or 200 pages, I wouldn't want to put two papers side by side on my screen. So what I would do is this. I would open up the reviewing feature from the top, click on compare, which opens up another window, then click on the top item, compare, and I get a third window open up, and it says compare documents. Now, what we want to do is look at our revised documents. That would be John Jones submission number two and compare it to a submission number one, which has my comments. So I say it's easy to start with the right side. I look for the, uh, the document here in the white. If it's a document I recently opened, it would appear in the white. If it's one I haven't opened in a while, I'll have to browse for it on my computer. So I know I just opened it, so I'm just going to look for John Jones' second submission. There it appears in the box. And over here, John Jones, Weintraub's review of John Jones' paper. That's what I called it. And I'm going to just say OK. And I get another box asking me if I want to continue, because it does have track changes. And you can almost always get this if you use track changes. So I'm just going to say yes. Now, what I have on my screen is one document with John Jones' corrections in it and my comments from the last submission. And I can quickly go down the list and see, did he make them? I said APA, and he did change it to uh, bold. He didn't. In, he indented it, which he shouldn't have. So I'm just going to fix it for him. It's not a big deal. I said he needed a citation here. She needed a citation. They put it in. Quickly, I'll just accept these changes. I said, don't mention the name of the school. They left it there. So I'm just going to leave the comment there so they could see it next time. I said on this one, use new data. They did new, use new data. And I told them to avoid uh, conversational lang uh, language here, conversational questions. And they just uh, changed it to a more scholarly tone. So I'm just going to quickly uh, accept that. OK, when I'm done, I have read two paragraphs in about four seconds. And of course, if you have 50 pages and you don't have a million comments to look at, it won't take you more than, than uh, a short amount of time to go through the entire paper rather than reading every single line to see where the changes were made. When I'm done, I just need to save this document. It happens to be called document three this time. Save it in my computer or give it the name of the original file. And then uh, I now can send this back to the student and immediately they will see there's only one change that needs to be made. Okay, I hope this video has helped.